Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new uh, Showdown Herman card to review today. So, we're taking a look at a card that is 5'10 with medium-high work rates. Medium-high work rates, okay? Right-footed, 4-star skills with a 3-star weak foot. I'm super curious to see how that's going to work out in-game, because if he's medium-high work rates... I'm not even going to lie to you guys when I say this. This card with a hunter chemistry style as a right wing back seems to be the most ideal situation so far. Because <laughs> medium high, I don't know how that's going to move up top in the attacking areas. But we'll see. We'll see what the vibes are. Uh, he's got player traits. Any player traits? Team player traits. He's got 95 acceleration, 84 sprint speed. Uh, weird. It's a weird combination because uh, with a card like this, in regards to improvements... There's not a real chemistry style that you can give him because he's always going to feel like he's lacking in something for sure. Uh, he's got 87, 84, 84, 83 uh, with 77 volleys at 76 composure. So obviously you guys know the vibes over here. We're going to be giving him a finisher chemistry style to improve his shooting and dribbling as much as possible. Uh, boosting the shooting stats on this card is going to look like this, with the finisher chemistry style. So we're going to be boosting it to a 99 for finishing, a 94 for shot power, 87 volleys, 92 for attacking positioning. That with the medium high work rates is going to be hilarious to work with. Um, I'm giving him a finisher, guys, because from base card stats on his dribbling, right, 85, 82, 88, 86, 87, um, I want to try to improve it as much as possible because he does have the lean body type, right? So a lean body type could compensate for this card's uh, in-game abilities for sure. We'll obviously, what, we'll obviously see what the vibes are uh, once we use them in-game. Uh, defensive stats in the card obviously doesn't really have much. Uh, and then physical stats, he has 80 stamina with 66 strength and 68 for aggression. So, like I said, the reason why uh, I could potentially see him as a right wing back is because he is a right-footed player with a lean body type. Potentially being a more attacking-oriented player, right? Um, we're going to see how he performs in-game. I'm really, really curious to see what that medium high does in game, to be honest. Like, I think that's going to be the biggest one. Um, he is probably going to give me center mid vibes in like a 5 3 2. In a 5 3 2, as long as you have the other two uh, midfield players kind of being balanced. Or as a right wing back, or as a usable striker. Usable striker. Three star weak foot, but he's right footed. Okay. Okay, we'll see what the vibes are, guys. We'll see what the vibes are. Uh, we'll use a 3-5-2, you know, for some instructions out of him. We're actually going to do... We'll do this like this. I'm at this. We'll do like this. Press after possession loss. Yes, sir. And then we're going to have Herman playing in the right striker position with my baby girl in the cam position. Coleman, Singraven. Yeah, I think this should work out perfectly. Okay. Just got to put free roam on Deco because I like him on free roam personally. Hey, Paul's a beast, bro. Paul's a beast. All right, guys. Let's see how the Herman plays. Oh, these kits are a little bit strange, but we can make it work. We can make it work. Guys, see the finisher? Look at this. Guys. Uh... Oh, let's see, boys. Let's see. It might be, it might be sick. It's always that lean body type, bro. The lean body type just makes such a huge difference in this game. It's so crazy. Bro, his dribbling is actually kind of nice, guys. Like it's, it's really sharp in those uh, really clutch situations. Look. Oh, that finishing was not good, though, man. He has to hit that across goal easily, man. Easily. Finesse shot. Oh, at least he hits that one. At least he hits that one. I, I just think the finisher chemistry style is going to be the most ideal for a card like this in your team, for sure. I, I don't think it makes sense to give him a hunter because, dude, that lean body type with a finisher, right? It compensates so much, dude. Look at his dribbling, guys. Look at it. His dribbling is actually really good, man. I didn't expect it to be that good. Look at that, bro. I'm telling you, his dribbling is sick, dude. It's almost as if it's, like, overpowered. <laughs> Looking ball. Chance to finish. 
Let's go. You see Deco with that beautiful pass. Just, oof. Just beautiful pass, man. Guys, uh, Herman's dribbling is better than it should be. 100%. It definitely is. Um, this is like a trial and error thing, you know? Like, you, you kind of, like, you have to test these things out in game with a card like this because I did not expect his dribbling to be like this. Like, to be honest with you guys, I wish Andre Silva was like this. Oh, I didn't know this was a Deco review. Sorry, uh, guys. I'm, hey, hey, I apologize. He's just Deco. Just does a thing. You know what I'm saying? He just does a thing. Oh, he actually got the penalty right there. I should have taken a first-time fake shot downwards. You know, get him on his right foot right there. I should have, man. All right, let me uh, let me make sure I hit this penalty before Adam and uh, Nick roast my ass later. Let's see what the vibes are. Oh, I'm the best at penalties, man. You know, I'm, just, I'm, I'm the best. I'm the best. Okay, he was just controlling the midfielder right there. Nice little skill move to get past him. Near post strike. We take those. Oh, I just wanted to go for the dink right there so badly. What a freaking run that he did right there, though. The pass was sick, too. Dude, look at his dribbling, man. Oh, and he actually scores that. Oh. Hey, man. I'll tell you guys this right now. This card, uh, he surprised me, man. He surprised me a lot right now. The finisher is definitely required, in my opinion. But, like, he doesn't really need the pace boost. It's not like he has aggressive attacking AI anyways. Dude, look at this card's dribbling, bro. Like, obviously the skill move is not going to come off nicely. But just the left stick, bro... Oh, try to get that finesse shot angle with him there. Hits it through the middle. Yeah, a card, a card like this, guys, his dribbling is not supposed to be this good. Like, even if he has the lean body type, like, Cucurella is a short player with a lean body type, and he doesn't do those, like, really quick cuts, you know? Oh, yeah, I just wanted to get that small little angle right there and see how he uh, takes that strike. Oh, I tried to shot cancel there, and I missed it. Almost got it, though. Almost got it. His attacking AI is, um, I would say it's pretty generic. It's like a combination of generic and decent. You know, he doesn't really have that special thing about him playing through the middle. Uh, it's a card that I mostly see being used in the actual position he's probably supposed to be meant to be used in the uh, right wing area. Um, but it's attacking AI you could definitely work with, for sure. The real thing that impressed me the most with this card is his dribbling. Just the left stick dribbling, I, I didn't think it was going to feel this good. Considering the stats that he has, you know? Oh, Pope, you freaking monster. I hate you, Pope. I hate you. Woo! Let's go, Singravin. First time shot, baby. Oh, we hit the crossbar there with, Gnab with uh, Herman. <laughs> Dude, his dribbling is way better than it should be. <laughs> with the stats and body type that he has, 100%. Oh, Deco. This is a Deco review. <laughs>
All right, guys, so final verdict on the Herman card. So in regards to how he performs in game, guys, uh, for pace, he's got 95 acceleration with 84 sprint speed. Uh, it is a little bit of a nuisance on the card to have low pace and be in regards to using him in different positions, right? Uh, he is a right wing by default while being a right footed player. So if you find yourself in a situation often where you get him on his right foot to be able to take those strikes across goal, then he could be a fun card to use, although his finishing is kind of inconsistent because... I guess, of base card stats being at an 87, 84, and an 84. Uh, in regards to his dribbling, guys, his dribbling actually performed way better than I thought it would. His left stick dribbling is actually incredible. Just from the first clip that you saw from us going into the gameplay, the way that this guy actually uses just the left stick, eh? I'm not using the R1, no L1, just the left stick, he actually does really good sharp touches, which actually helps him uh, be more of a usable card in the game. It sucks that he doesn't have any of the traits like the finesse shot trait or the outside foot shot trait, but he's still a pretty cool card to use for what he is, right? Um, I do think, however, that he definitely joins the Sentimental Value FC club. He's 148k. To be honest, as an SBC, I'd still drop it a little bit more, to be honest, with how he performs in-game. Um, even if he gets upgraded, I don't see him being some sort of like overpowered card because he does still have the three-star weak foot, right? So um, he's definitely going to need some really good improvements for him to be uh, a good card to use in the meta nowadays. But, you know, let's let's just give you guys a good example. Uh, if this guy was Portuguese and he was like Andre Silva, I'd actually enjoy using him in the team because of that sharp dribbling, right? So if you want to get the card for sentimental value in regards to Bundesliga or German players, be sure to do so. That's the only thing you can really expect out of the card because the attacking AI is not really special. It's not good or great. It's pretty. It's just decent and generic. It's like a combination of the two. Um, and then obviously the pace you have to work with, although... He does have the 95 acceleration over the sprint speed, which makes the card more usable as well. So it's just a, a combination of a lot of things. But generally speaking, guys, uh, the showdown today has been kind of disappointing. I think that uh, goes without saying, to be honest, in regards to price and value of the card in-game. But uh, it is what it is. We're here to create the content. I'm here to let you guys know if a card is worth doing. You know the vibes, right? So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I might actually work on some storylines today, and then we'll just call it a day from there. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out. Dudes, love you guys.